free agency period, if you, the fan, are, are, are having a dilemma, I would say just embrace it. Because now, one thing that I haven't liked about college football is that it kind of goes away. And as an NFL fan, despite the Saints being an absolute train wreck, please, Sean Payton, take the Chargers job. Please, so we can get a draft pick. There is something to consume all the time. It's not just 18 weeks and hopefully the playoffs. You've got draft and OTAs and all kinds of stuff that happens around the NFL, including free agency. And if you're an Ole Miss fan or a Mississippi State fan listening to this, there, there are a handful of tight ends that are in the portal right now that Ole Miss has a legitimate shot at that would be immediate impact players. Isn't that a fun thing to think about? Where you're not relying on some 17-year-old that just played the 3A high school state championship this year to hopefully in two years be good, but for next year, for 2023, you're kind of screwed at the position? Instead, there's a guy from South Carolina that they used really incorrectly that is in the transfer portal right now that you can sign, and he immediately helps your offense. Isn't that exciting to think about and read about? Hey, shoot, my team might add this tight end from South Carolina. Have you seen him? He's huge. He can run. Mississippi State. Ah, Emmanuel Forbes left. That sucks. But there's that kid from Temple who had 15 pass breakups this year. We can go get him. Isn't that exciting and interesting and and fun as a fan to to look at all these guys at the portal and and go look at their stats and you know, watch their team's highlights or whatever and I don't know. It just it seems like some people have such a negative view of what could be a positive thing as a fan. You're adding good players to your team in an otherwise dead period. That sounds like fun to me.